Oh, yeah, I forgot to add Forbidden Ritual. That card's probably good in this deck. That is the Shadow Bolt. It's probably not optimal. Just keep triple one, start going ham. Now we get the Shadow Bolt back. Did tap more, and you're not too having a draw. Well, in a tempo matchup, I feel like it's better just to be uh, pushing out all the tempo. Maybe in a control matchup, I'll focus on tapping more, and then use the renounce to more effect. Get in there and fight, maggot. Now, positioning doesn't matter. Why am I consciously thinking about positioning? There might be some positional class cards that matter, I guess. Am I playing Zoo? No, I'm playing Renounce Warlock with the Zoth. Turns out Zoo's a really good deck, guys. <laughs> I'm trying not to play Zoo. I'm trying to make Renounce Darkness good. I don't know, team. We have plenty of sixes. We should get one by six, I think. This one might be a matchup where the Renounce actually comes into it, man. It's just a zoo deck with a two card handicap. No, I think it's more like an eight card handicap, but it could be funny. Get it out! Get it out! I don't know, if he coins out a two drop, this is better. <laughs> Why did he do that? <laughs> Alright, if we hit a three drop, three drop's the most um, saturated slot on our mana curve, so odds are we should be able to find a three drop. Not really. Odds are not in our favor to top deck one with 25 cards in our deck, but out of any of the cards that it would be ideal to top deck on, this would be the most ideal. So hopefully we get there. A whirlwind? Oh, phew. Alright, it's okay. We're getting the taps in. This is important. That is an expensive soul fire. <laughs> We're probably gonna have to soul fire frothing next turn, too. Alright, probably have to soul fire that. Hopefully we don't discard something good. He's playing Dragon Warrior, right? We don't need that much top end. Fuck, dude. This doesn't even interact with the four drops, so we're gonna... Did you just pass? Are we in it? We're in it! When your opponent just passes on turn four. Sick. Job's done. I wield the power. Nom nom shit. Shadow both face for 10. He thinks I'm Zoo. I think he's probably starting to suspect something's up with the Azure Drake in play, but he might still think I'm Zoo. Where's this coil? I don't know. We could go for Dark Peddler into Coil. I think it's better to just get this bad boy out there. Like Rotan going out. Push a bunch of face damage. Cock block his guy, get a Karen out there, set up for that, and a Zoth. Here we go. Let's draw first. Practice makes mm -hmm. perfect. I mean, the deck's just good. Like, what more could you want? <laughs> like, that's sick! Why didn't I play Peddler first? Because I wanted it to turn into a non-Warlock card. I wanted it to be a higher cost, higher value, higher impact card. The idea is, Renounce Darkness changes my early game into mid game cards. Peddler is an early game card, I wanted it to turn into a mid game card. So we got a 3 drop, a 1 drop, and a 2 drop off of the 3 cards. So it didn't really actually increase our value. It, it, value actually stayed about the same. A bit unfortunate. Ah, oh, it snipes the frothing! Sick. One of our good neutral cards. Another one of our good neutral cards. For honor. <laughs> so dirty. 
easy just gonna climb the top 100 legend with renounced dark Liz early game slash late game warlock no mid game just two drakes execute grom inner age go for the 25 percenter uh oh uh oh Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> the monkey. Death rattles so far is just only uh, this guy. Oh, that's a good top deck. I have no time for games. <laughs> now that we're able to handle this, we should easily be able to handle making Reno Dragon Cthune to Zoth Paladin. I mean, technically speaking, the original challenge, right, was the uh, the Reno Nazoth Renounced Darkness deck. So we've handled the Renounced Darkness uh, Nazoth deck. Now we gotta add the Reno element in there, otherwise we're technically not winning the challenge, right? Because so far we've only done part one of the challenge. How do we make this deck a Reno deck? That's the next question. Because we were able to go 3-0 with the non-Reno deck. And how do we go 3-0 with the Reno version? I don't know if it's doable. It might be too hard. Give me that Ragnaros. That was a good turn by him, so. That's a sick card. Let none survive. 50-50 for the Ragnaros. Never, never slightly fortunate. Well, we got another try at it. What are the odds after Renouts that you will be able to play Reno? What are the odds? How many minions are there in the game? They're all class-specific minions. So how many class-specific minions of not Warlock are there in the game? Does anybody know? We can run the numbers really quick to figure out the consistency. Of that kills us every time when they get Gore Howl off of it. Thank you. Thank you, Blizzard. Oh, I want to see what crazy warrior card I got.